Salam Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series with a series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I'm reminded of a story uh, that happened at the Kovno Cemetery. The Hebrew Kedisha, the Jewish Burial Society, was uh, clearing things out, cleaning things up, and they came across two bodies that were uh, unaffected by decomposition. One was the uh, Kovna Rav, a very holy man, and the other was uh, a soldier, a Jewish soldier, and on his uh, tombstone was engraved, here lies the kosher, proper Jewish soldier. And these two bodies were unaffected by time, no decomposition. They were, um, they weren't, uh, they didn't rot. It's told of the soldier that uh, he was uh, conscripted into the Polish army and he refused to eat non-kosher food. All he ate was raw vegetables. He didn't eat any of the, uh, the rationed foods. Only raw vegetables, nothing cooked. And uh, certainly no meat, no cheese, no milk, no nothing. Raw vegetables only. Some anti-Semitic soldiers grabbed the boy, uh, the young man, and tried to force soup down his throat to, to make him uh, have some soup to eat non-kosher food. The soldier refused and uh, he ended up choking uh, on the soup and died, asphyxiated. Um, and it was as the result of the schus, the merit of his desire not to defile his body with um, non-kosher food that this body, the vessel of the soul, didn't um, didn't go through the uh, uh, the normal process uh, of decomposition. This is the miracle uh, that was a result as of this person uh, this person's uh, adherence to Torah. He was not some great Torah scholar. He was not a tzaddik. He was not a, a, a famous righteous person. He wasn't a gadol, a great great man. He was a simple Jew drafted into the Polish army, and he didn't want to eat treif. He didn't want to eat something that wasn't kosher. He's an ordinary guy, but he stuck to his principles. And he, he lived the Torah life. And it shows us that even the most simple, um, the most plain, the most ordinary of us can achieve greatness if we live our lives according to Torah and Hashem and what God expects us to do as religious people, either as Jews or as Noahides. Um, we can in our own life achieve a certain amount of greatness. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.